say dear students we are adding acid acid means zero percent water if i take zero by hundred it becomes zero so whole thing by hundred is there by hundred by hundred cancels if you bring this set so now simplify this please understand 45 percent acid means it is same as if you put 77 so i wrote the formula and i read but in your textbook they have 60 degrees it is 68 degrees then your textbook answer matches Welcome to the session, dear students. Today we'll go ahead with word problems. Here, understanding the word problem and converting it into inequality and solving it. So now the question is, how many liters of water will be will have to add to add it to 1,125 liters of 45 percent solution of acid, so that the resultant mixture contain more than 25 percent but less than 30 percent of acid content. So now we have to convert it. So let us assume we are not adding acid, we are adding water, pure water. So let x liters of water is added. x liters of water is added is our assumption. Water is added. Now what is case 1? When you add x liter, so I am adding x liters for 45 liters uh, for 45 percent, 45 percent means 45 by 100 of 125 liters of acid. This is acid. So that resulting mixture should be more than 25 percent of the content x plus 1125. The new volume is what? Now total number of uh, liters is x liters we added and it should be 25 percent of the total acid. So, dear students, we are adding acid. Acid means 0 percent water. If I take 0 by 100, it becomes 0. Therefore, therefore, I have to convert this acid in terms of water. See, acid in terms of water means x plus water will be out of uh, percent means out of 100. 45 percent acid means remaining is water. So, 40, 50 percent in a school, in a class of 100 students, 50 percent girls means or 45 percent girls means remaining are what? Boys. 100 minus 45. Similarly, 45 percent acid means remaining is water. So, water is how much? So, 100 minus 45 percent of 1125 uh, water. So, if acid should be more, water should be less. So, greater becomes lesser. And this will become 100 minus 25 by 100 of x plus 1125 and solve it. If you solve this, you will get the required value. That is x plus 25, uh, 55 sorry, x plus 55 percent of 1125 is less than 100, and, uh, 100 minus 25, 75 percent of water x plus 1125. Now, if you solve it, you will get how much water to be added. So, now take LCM. If I take LCM, 100 into x is 100x plus 55 into 1125, whole thing divided by 100. And left side, 75 into x plus 1125. So, whole thing by 100 is there. By 100, by 100 cancels if you bring this set. So, now simplify this. 100x plus 55 into 1125. Let it be less than... 75x plus 75 into 1125. Further simplify this. If you further simplify this, uh, 100x bring 75x to LHS. So it will become 100x minus 75x less than 75 into 1125 minus 55 into 1125. So this will become 25x less than 1125. If you take it out, it will be 75 minus 55. Now further simplify this. 25x. Sorry. Yeah, x is less than 1125. 75 minus 55 gives you 15. 20, sorry. 20 by 25. 5 5s are 5 fours are. X is less than. 1125 into 4, 5 1s are 5 2s are 10, 5 2s are 
10 5 5 is a if you multiply 900. So number of liters of water is added should be less than 900. So therefore water to be added one part is what less than 900. Similarly, they give other condition. What is the other condition? It should be more than 25 percent, less than 30 percent. Less than 30 percent means x liters you are adding for 55 percent of water. 45 percent of acid is same as 55 percent of water. So that it should become less than they told. So less than means here it will be more, more than 25, what is that? 30 percent. 30 percent of acid means remaining. I told you 30 percent of acid means 70 percent of water. 70 percent of water. Water means total content is what? X plus 1125. Simplify this. Again take LCM 100X plus 55 into 1125 should be more than. See, if it is acid less than, if it is water more than. So, 70 by 100 into x plus 1125. Now 100, 100, the whole thing by 100 was there. 100, 100 cancels. Now rearrange 100x plus 55 into 1125 is greater than 70 into x is 70x plus 70 into 1125. Now rearrange, bring this to this side. So it will become 100x minus 70x greater than 70 times 1125 minus 55 times 1125. So now this is 30x greater than 1125. If you take common, it will be 70 minus 55. Simplify this further. So we'll get x greater than 1125 into 75 minus 70 minus 55 gives you 15 divided by what 30. So 3 tens are 30, 3 fives are. So x is greater than, okay, and 5 1s are 5 2s are. And x is greater than 1 1 2 5 by 2 divided. So 2 5s are 10, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, and uh, 1s are, 2 5s are 10, 12 it will become, 2 6s are 12, 1s are point, 2 2s are 4, sorry, 2 2s are 4, point 5. So x is greater than 562.5 liters. So therefore, water to be added is water to be added is less than 900. We got in the last case and more than more than 560, 526.5. So what is the water to be added? X lies between. Uh, what is that? 526.5 and 900. So more than 526.5 liters, but less than 900 liters. So converting acid percentage to water percentage. So here, please understand this very carefully. Please understand 45% acid means it is same as 100 minus 45. That is how much? 55% water. Less than acid means greater than water. And similarly, everywhere 100 minus, see whatever the percentage of acid is given, I converted into percentage of water. 100 minus that. Then I compared, but less than when they give more than, take it as less than when they give less than, take it as more than because acid we converted to water. More is the acid, less will be the water, or more will be the water, less will be the acid. Opposite, that's the reason. Next question A solution is to be kept. T degrees Fahrenheit, 77 degree Fahrenheit. What is the range of temperature? Dear students, in your textbook, this question is printed like this, but this is wrong given in your textbook. Make it 68 degree Fahrenheit, then your answer in the question book matches. So, the solution should be kept between what? 68 Fahrenheit and 77 Fahrenheit. That is the question. So, this is given as 60 in your text, that is wrong. Make it as 68. Now, okay, Fahrenheit is given. What is Fahrenheit? So, 9 by 5 times C plus 32. Now, convert it to C. Make subject as C because they want it in terms of degree Celsius. So, convert it. If by 5 comes this side, it will become 5 into 5 by 9 into F is equal to C plus 32. Rearrange. 
thirty two bring this side. So f by nine, no sorry, five by nine f minus thirty two is c. So now you got c formula. What is c? Degree Celsius is equal to five by nine times Fahrenheit minus thirty two. This is the formula for degree Celsius. First of all, task is to convert the Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. What is degree Celsius? Five by nine times f minus thirty two. How I got? They gave f value. Rearrange. So by five comes this side, it becomes into five. Into nine comes this side, it becomes divided by five. And rearrange, you get C formula. And your C value should lie between what? C value should lie between sixty-eight Fahrenheit and seventy-seven Fahrenheit. C value should lie between sixty-eight degrees Fahrenheit and seventy-seven degree Fahrenheit. Now our task is to convert this into Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. How to convert the formula? What is that? Five by nine. Five by nine. The f minus thirty two less than c five by nine Fahrenheit minus thirty two. I am putting the value. What is the Fahrenheit here? Substitute. So five by nine sixty eight minus thirty two should be less than five by nine. What is the Fahrenheit? Seventy seven minus thirty two. Simplify this. So it will become five by nine sixty eight minus thirty two becomes thirty six less than five by nine seventy seven minus thirty two becomes Seven minus two is five forty-five. So now simplify nine ones are nine fours are nine ones are nine fives are. So five fours are twenty degrees. This is Celsius now. Less than five fives are twenty-five degrees Celsius. So therefore, solution should be kept between. Solution should be kept between. What is that? Twenty degrees Celsius. And 25 degrees Celsius. See, this is such an easy question. Everything is in the question. So they gave F value and rearrange and get C value. This is C value. Now, in the place of F, you put the lower limit that is 68. In the place of F, you put 77. So I wrote the formula and I write. But in your textbook, they gave 68 degrees. It is 68 degrees. Then your textbook answer matches. Next. And and also in the first question, in the first question after solving, we'll get nine hundred and five twenty six. They told six point nine zero zero. It's a print error, like this. So answer is this for first question. Whatever I've answered, upper limit nine hundred and lower limit five six two point five. That is correct. But there they gave lower limit a wrong value. They gave while printing six point nine zero zero. They gave upper limit. That is nine zero zero. I hope all of you understood. So there are some errors in the textbook. Correct them. So now that's why I've corrected and I'm giving this right things. Now find all pair of con. This is most important question. I can say find all pair of consecutive even integers which are greater than five, and their sum is less than twenty-three. When you add them, their sum should be less than twenty-three. They're told consecutive. Consecutive means what? Let x and x plus two be the consecutive integers. Be the consecutive, consecutive even integers, even integers. Dear students, consecutive numbers means what? Two, four, six. They are all consecutive numbers, even integers. So all the consecutive integers which are greater than five means each integer is greater than five. So that is x is greater than five. If I take x is greater than five, definitely x plus two will be more than five. For example, six. Six is greater than five. If I take one more number, that will be definitely more than six. See, x is greater than five means x plus two two will be definitely greater than five. So least number, if you take enough, this is one thing that one. And their sum should be less than twenty-three. When you add them, x plus x plus two should be less than what? Twenty-three. This is given. This is given. Both are greater than five means any one is greater than five means the next number. Will be greater than five. Sum is less than twenty-three. Now let us solve this. So x plus x plus two is less than twenty-three. X plus x is what? Two x. Two x plus two less than twenty-three. So two x is less than twenty-three minus two. Two x is less than twenty-one. X is less than twenty-one into two comes this side. It becomes divided by x is less than two one two tens at twenty point five. X is Strictly less than ten point five. Now choose the numbers. First, they should be greater than five, and they should be even. So even number greater than five means six, and six and six plus two, one pair. 
So 6 and 6 plus 2 means 6, 8. So dear students, if I add, I can take 6 and 6 plus 2. And they told x should be, see now I have to pick the numbers. x should be greater than 5 but less than 10.5 and it should be even. What are the even numbers greater than 5? 6, 6, 8. 8 I can choose but 8, 10 I can choose. Can I take 10? 10 also I can choose because greater than 5, less than 10.5. 10 and x plus 2 becomes, see x and x plus 2, right? So, x I am choosing 6, 8, 10. I can't take x more than 10 because x should be less than 10.5. So, stop it at 10. So, these are the pairs. So, you add them 6 plus 8 is 14, less than 23. When you add the pairs, some should be less than 23 and integer should be greater than 5. That's it. So, therefore, the pairs are Pairs are x value, see x value should lie between this. What are the even numbers lying between 5 and 10.5? x 6, 8, 10. I can't take more than this because it should be less than. Then after you take x, the pair is what? x and x plus 2. 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 2. Pairs are 6, 8, 8, 10 and 10, 12. Now we have done the problem consecutive integers. I hope all of you understood this. Same method you apply and practice all other problems. But in your boards, they have removed this. They have not given in model papers, but it helps you to understand the situations converting the word problem. Please sit and practice the problems. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.